Okay, so we have a question right here. They say, uh, so this is simultaneously, the system of uh, simultaneously, and a three by three. See? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So let's say we have to solve. This is very easy. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me call this first equation. And this is going to be second equation. And this one I'll call it third equation. It shows me sorry. So this is I'll call first equation, second and third. So you know what I'll do? I'll take two questions. Okay, I'm going to have to eliminate one letter. For me to solve this question, I have to get rid of one letter. So what you have to do, take let's say take the first question and second question so i'm going to say tag tag one and two equation and solve it by how you solve eliminate one layer see so take this with this okay i'm going to take this one with this and then take this with this and then i have to get rid of one layer look how i'm going to do is that it okay now take the first one i'll say x plus y plus z equal two and then six x and then minus 4y plus 5z equal to 31. So for me to get rid of one letter here, look, if you have an x and 2x, or oh, can we say 12x, how I'm going to get rid of these two letters? For me to get rid of them, face they must be equal. Like for me to get to have to eliminate them, they must be equal. So this also, for this to be limit, this must be also 12. And then I'm gonna minus. That's a trick. Okay, somebody give me, let's say this is 3m and this is 4, uh, 4, just a 4. Uh, 4, 4, no, just m. But this is minus. So how I'm gonna get rid of them? They all have to be equal. So I'm gonna multiply this by 3 negative. See, if I multiply this one with 3 negative, it's gonna become positive 3m. And this can be 3m and I'll just minus, I'll get 0. So that's a tricky. So, uh, for example, let me eliminate x's. You can eliminate any letter, but I choose to eliminate x. Means I'm going to say, oh, so this first group, x is 6 here, right, in the second line. So let me multiply also by 6, so they can be equal. So let's do it like this. But this 6 is going to have effect on everything. So this is going to become 6x, so you multiply it, but for the second one also, everything must be multiplied, you, you don't, it's not going to be uh, acceptable or fair to only multiply the first one. So 6x, multiply by 6y, multiply by 6z, multiply by 2 is going to give you 12. And then write this one, tell me how it is, the second line. So you see, they are equal. So since they're equal, we can get rid of this. So look, I'll just say what? Minus here. So 6x minus 6x is going to give us what? 0x. So I don't have no x because we minus to go down. So it's like a 0x. I don't have 6x minus 6x, 0x. I don't have to write anything 0. Now we come here. Positive 6y minus minus 4y. Look, positive 6y, you like this. Minus, minus, minus. 4y minus minus positive so 6 plus 4 equal to 10y so 10y now I count for this one 6z minus plus 5z it's like say 6 minus plus 5 and this is going to give us minus so 6 minus 5 equal to 1 so it's like but it's going to be plus right plus 1 so I can say plus 1z but 1z you just say z equal 12 Minus 31 is going to give us 19 by negative because 12 minus 39, 12 minus 39, 31 equal to minus 19. So now you see we got new equation. Let's call it star, star one star. So this with these two, they give us this new equation. Now I'm going to take the first one with the third one and then I have to get rid of the x. Same trick. So I'm going to say uh, x plus y plus z equal to 2 and the third one 5x 2y plus 2y and then plus 2z equal to 13 so what I'm going to do I have to get rid of the same letter so I'm going to get rid of the same letter so say, okay so I mean I have to multiply this by 5 so this equation is going to become 
five eggs. I can just right here. Okay. So it's gonna become five eggs. It's gonna be five eggs. Uh, this is two here. Five eggs. Five times y is gonna be plus five y. Five times eight is gonna be five z. Five times two equal to ten. And then write my second denominator, second line, or denominator, just second line, the way how it is, plus 2z. If I say denominator, I'll be wrong. Let me say the second equation. Okay, so what we're going to do, they are equal, so we can subtract. 5x times 5x, nothing, zero. Then 5y minus plus 2, you can just say, because this is y, you can say 5, positive 5, minus plus 2 equal to 3. Well, this has one. Look, it's like say positive 5, positive 5 minus plus 2. This is going to give us 3, but this has a y. Now we go for this one. 5 plus plus 5 positive 5 minus, minus plus 2 is going to give us 3. Close. And this is going to give us 10 minus 13 is going to give us negative 3. Negative 3. Because we have 10 minus 13, this 13 is going to be minus 3, minus 3. So now this is second equation, which is 3y plus 3z equal to negative 3. But I can just divide by negative, look, this equation is like, I can just divide by 3, 3, 3 because it's common. Divide by 3, divide by, just to simplify. So y plus z equal to negative 1. So this was first term, so let me call this second term. So what I'm going to do now, I'll take the first star, solve the second star, and solve it continuous. So I'll take this one, which is 10, y plus z, means the first star, equal to negative 19. And then take this one, plus z, equal to negative 1. Let's solve them. Let's do the same trick we did here. So which letter I think I should get rid of? I'll rather use this because they are equal, z, z. This one means I have to multiply by 10 in exam. You don't have time to do that, okay? So I'll rather just take this. So this is positive z and this is positive z. So just subtract it. 10y minus y is going to give us 9y. z minus z, 0. So I don't have to write anything. Equal negative 19 minus minus 1 is going to give us negative 18. Look, minus 19. Minus, minus 1, minus, minus, plus, so negative 19, plus 1 equal to negative 18. See? So, now, negative 9, y equal to negative 18, I can simply divide by 9, divide by 9. This is this cancel, so y equal to negative 2. Oh, so now we already have it, y. It's easy then to get x. How and why you say it's easy? Because I can just literally take this y and plug it in here. Look. And then I'll get z. Can you see how easy it is? In the uh, second star. Oh, this was second star. I can just plug in second star. Or oh, even you can even take this one. I can plug here. And then I'll get z. So anywhere where you have a y and another letter, you can plug it. But I'm not going to come and plug in these because you know why? Even if I plug y here, it's not going to give me a solution because I'm not going to have a two letter. So rather take for the two equation with the two y with something. Y with z. Y with z. Any of these two is going to give the same answer. So let me pick this because this is more easy. So I'm going to then say, I'll rather say, okay, so I'm going to take y, plug in here in the second star. So y equal to negative 2, so this is going to become negative 2, and then we'll plus z. Equal to negative 1. Okay. Take negative 2 over. So the z equal to negative 1. This go is going to become plus. Negative 1 plus 2 equal to 1. Oh. So z equal to 1. So now we know y equal to negative 2. And we know z equal to 1. So I can look at the equation where you have x, y, and z. Because it's going to be easy for me to get down with it. We have a y. So I can just plug in the y. We have z, I can plug in z, and then I'll get x, see? So I'm going to take the face equation, so into 
first equation. So you can just say substitute sub what sub z equal to one y equal to negative two into you can plug in any of this one two three but I'd rather plug this because this way easy. I don't have to deal with the number number now. Into question one. And my question is gonna get finished like that. Okay, z equal to one. No no x. Let's start with x. We don't have an x. So plug my x plus y. Do I have a y? Oh yes, I have y equal to negative two. So y equal to negative two plus plus z. What is a z? Z equal to one. Z equal to one. Equal to two. Equal to two. So let's put this together. Now we go. Positive and negative equal to negative. So this can become negative two. Negative two plus one equal to negative one. So x minus one equal to two. And this is going to go over, will become plus. So x equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Oh, so finally, our x equal to 3, our y equal to negative 2, and our z, what is our z? Z is if we have some. Our z, <laughs> I can see. Oh my god, this is why. z equal to 1. z equal to 1. Or z equal to 1. So finally, we can just finalize and say, so, I'm going to use the right pen for fun. So finally, oh, this was a question here. The solution system ordered in a triple x. So always when you start, you start with x, y, z. What is the x? Our x equal to 3. And what is the y? y equal to negative 2. And z equal to 1. So this is our answer. You don't need this anymore. Then. Easy. See, so like I say, don't just keep this here for yourself because that's that's going to be selfishness. I don't keep solution for me. I just give to you. Okay, so tag it, share to the other people so that other people can benefit. If you face time in this pro problem, come right here, subscribe, click the like button, okay? So the next time when the new video comes or when I get your solution, you're going to get the notification automatic, okay? Thanks a lot. I believe you learn how to do things. You did learn on how to do things. You know, I love you so much. Okay, peace in the mouth. I'll be see you soon.